It's common. Control measures for biological hazards. So prevent the contamination of foods. It's like keep them out of where they are. And if they get there, we need to make sure that we're killing them. Um, and, you know, moving from there, you just kind of prevent the multiplication of a control by, um, you know, taking them out of their 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 growth zone. So salmonella, you got non-spore uh, spore forming infectious so this is a, a breakdown of salmonella. This is like its profile. Uh, the intestinal is it's in the intestinal tract of the animals. Over two thousand cerevars need. So I think it's like different kind of um, strands of it. It survives freezing and dehydration. Um, it kill it get kills by mild heat. So some heat is gonna gonna kill it. So that's a good thing. It's what we know. So okay, if we got an issue with uh, we have an ingredient of some sort, and we're heated up. That's what that means. Special concern in low moisture foods. So, um, how we control it? We kill it through cooking of food. We just talked about that. Avoid recontamination. Proper hygiene by food handlers. Low pH uh, prevents the growth of it. Right. Remember that last step. So even, even you know, after we've cooked it. Avoiding recant. We've done all those things. We're still going to make sure that the product that we uh, produce as a result, let's make sure that that pH is low. And that's just a, a triple check, right? That's a triple gate. Um, and then environmental monitoring in the ready to eat areas. That's the last step. Like we're doing that just as a precaution to make sure, um, you know, it doesn't thrive, survive, and thrive in those areas. So, um, all those other things come before that, and that is in the HACCP plan. That's how we make sure, you know, we plan out how to make this product. All right, so I'm going to kind of scroll through these. So you got the E. coli, uh, also found in intestinal tract of animals, low pH, prevents growth, and killed by mild heat. So pretty, pretty similar to salmonella. So um, how do we control it? Good sanitation and personal hygiene. Um, it gets killed by proper cooking and reheating, prevent contamination. I hope you guys are seeing the trend. Proper refriger refrigeration, low pH, um, and water activity to prevent growth. All right, staff, same deal. You got human skin or nasal passages is where you find these resistant to high salt cells, killed by mild heat, enterotoxin, very heat stable. So to prevent this, we prevent contamination through proper hygiene, exclusion of food handlers with boils and abscesses because of skin. Um, you got cells destroyed by normal cooking, uh, but enterotoxin is not proper refrigeration. Hot holding prevents growth. All right. Looking at listeria. Listeria can be found in humans, animals, and the environment. A low pH prevents growth. We're starting to see a trend, hopefully now. Survives dehydration and freezing, and it grows at refrigeration temperatures, which is a very interesting one. That's why it's highlighted. All right. And so how we do that, we proper heat treatment is important. Proper temperature control code slows the growth, but it doesn't stop it. Um, you add growth inhibitors to reduce by reducing the air, uh, the water activity. Obviously, you got to avoid recontamination of ready to eat foods by proper sanitation um, and then environmental monitoring. Campylobacter. We got animals, poultry, raw, uh, raw milk and water. Um, Microaerophilic grows in ranges of 32 to 45 degrees. Dies in refrigeration. Grows at uh, 4.9 to 9 pH. Rapid death below a 4.0. Sensitive heat to um, sensitive to heat and to drying. So, how do we control this through proper cooking, milk pasteurization, water chlorination, and preventing cross contamination, especially when it comes to raw poultry. So, in general, look at the control measures for biological hazards. You got time and temperature applications, which means cooking or freezing, refrigeration, controlling that time, the use of acids or preserve preservatives. High pressures, uh, irradi irradiation, and UV light. 
So general measures for control, you got micro specifications, food handling practices, sanitation, prevention of cross-contamination, packaging integrity, storage dis distribution uh, practices, and then consumer directions for use to a prevent ab abuse. So this is that last line is very important because, I mean, we can do all we, we can in the facility, but if the consumer doesn't use their product the way we intent the way it's intended the way that we instruct it then they're still at risk for a food safety event and you kind of know this but um you know that's why we kind of stress the importance of the the box what the box says being right the package right if the package doesn't have the right instructions you know um ingredient deck and stuff like that like and especially when it comes to allergens like you need to we need to make make sure everything on that package is correct and so that's part of the hassle plan actually is making sure that you know new packages have been uh, checked and double checked and triple checked before we actually put it on the production line and um hit that green button